First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone who will and who has the 100% truth. This is for the whole free elect of Israel, which are so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth is mingled within the other nations that may look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites, which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Hawah, He is. He exists. The name of His only begotten Son, His beloved Son, is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is whom we are looking for to come in these last days, and we are in the last of the last days. That's from meditating on Amos and, uh, by watching uh, some news, okay? And I'm going to play this clip, and then I'm going to get to the scriptures. Bear with me. Baba Kishab. The Supreme Court is set to hear two landmark cases this week centered on social media platforms and freedom of speech. Oral arguments begin on whether states like Texas and Florida have the right to tell tech companies what posts should be removed from their platforms. Republican lawmakers in Florida and Texas have pushed to restrict how sites like YouTube and Facebook take down posts, but the tech companies say that that infringes on their freedom of speech. of the internet era. Today, the Supreme Court is hearing arguments in a pair of cases that could change how social media companies have been operating for decades. At issue, Republican-backed laws in Florida and Texas that restrict companies from banning or censoring users because of their political views. Both laws were passed in 2021, the same year that Donald Trump was banned from Facebook and Twitter for his handling of the January 6th attack. Joining me now, NBC's Ken Delanian and editor-in-chief of The Verge, Nilay Patel. Good to have both of you. Ken, walk us through what we heard in court today. Chris, this is a case that experts say could transform the Internet as we know it. And it was very clear the justices are grappling with these issues today, and they seem torn. They're troubled by these laws. They're also troubled by what some of them see as the censorship that the social media companies have engaged in. These two laws at issue in Florida and Texas really stemmed from the decision by some platforms, including Facebook and Twitter, to ban Donald Trump in the wake of his incendiary comments around the January 6th riots. And it's, that's led conservatives to claim censorship. And these laws are now the platforms to regulate political speech. But uh, experts say it goes well beyond that and could end up restricting their ability to regulate all kinds of things, vaccine misinformation, it, child exploitation, racism, extremism. And so uh, the platforms are pushing back and say they have a First Amendment right to do this stuff. And it really depends on how the court decides these platforms are to be viewed. Are they more like newspapers, which have a right to publish what they want and exclude what they want? Or are they more like the old phone companies, which are known as common carriers? They're so ubiquitous as communication platforms that they're required to carry everyone's message. It's not clear where the justices are going to come down. We expect a ruling by June. Now, with that being said, uh, uh, on this news report, uh, I would like to get some scriptures, okay? Because we're coming into a famine of the world, okay? Because yeah, the laws are being set up, okay, to limit what you can say on these social platforms. Soon, you will no longer receive any more warnings and information that's letting you know the things that are coming on this wicked kingdom ruled by Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, the rich and elite begging families, okay? And Ms. 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Heavenly Father Yahweh Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Okay? The time is right now to get this word and to understand the times that we're in. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. There's no also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Let's look at that word perilous, okay, in the dictionary, all right? Full of danger or risk, a perilous journey south, okay? Dangerous. Fraught with danger, hazardous, risky, unsafe, treacherous, precarious, vulnerable, uncertain, insecure, critical, okay? Desperate, exposed, at risk, in jeopardy and danger, touch and go, 
problematic, difficult, hairy, dicey, gnarly, peerless, opposite safe, secure, okay? Exposed to imminent risk of disaster or ruin. The economy is in a peerless state. It's just right. It's the thing it's being set up for the NWO, okay? And it's just to give you an idea of what peerless means, okay? Through the internet, this devil you saw Edom, who is the seed of the wicked because they had three classifications of men. You had the sons of God, which are you so called niggles, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? The sons of yeah, uh, 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 the Israelites, okay? Because Jacob's name was changed to Israel, which means he prince of the power, okay? And then you had the sons of men, that's the he, uh, other heathen nations, okay? And they are not the chosen people of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but we are, you know. And finally, you had the sons of the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, okay? Who is the physical counterpart of Satan and whom they bow down to. So they bow down and pray to the spiritual demon Satan, okay? And they're ruling in the kingdom, okay, at this time, okay? As the Holy Scripture said, Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges there, but not where and who is he, okay? Because he was set up to rule by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Sire, in the last days. To show that we, in the Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are at the end of our captivity. And the wicked will be taken down. It says that in 2nd Isaiah 6, okay, 7 to 9, okay. Then answered I and said, and that was, that's Ezra talking to the angel Uriel, okay. What shall be the party of the sun that are tides? Or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau was born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau's the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Okay? By the spirit and power of Yahweh Pahashim Yahweh, so the internet is disrupting Esau's smooth flow of his wicked enterprise, which is an implementation of his NWO. B system, rule of government, okay, in which a, everyone will be under him. That goes back to Revelation 13 and 16, you now the Karagma, okay. And if you take it, the mark, subdulling and planting under your skin, you're going to be destroyed, as it says in Revelation 14, the ninth verse on down, okay. So we know that by this word of the true gospel going out through the internet has exposed all the evils this devil has done and still doing today. He is being exposed, okay? He is being, this devil is being exposed. Okay, now let's read this. Let's read this. Go back. Because this is also going to, uh, uh, we're not going to be going on the highways and byways pretty soon as well, okay? This isn't in this case, in the cases, could ripple far beyond the two state laws at issue, impacting the tools Congress can have to address harms caused by social media, including harms to children. Okay? The lawyer who argued Monday laid out a range of options for the justices, including a route that would keep the status quo and send the cases, the case back to lower courts to explore a wider range of legal questions. The justices are expected to decide the cases before the conclusion of the court's term at the end of June, okay? So let's see, what else? All are arguing that social media giants such as Facebook, YouTube, and X, the site formerly known as Twitter, control so much public discourse, they should be regarded more like telephone companies or telegraph operators, okay? And there's something else I wanted to get out of this because I've seen it. Let's see if I can find it. Bear with me, Papa Kassar. Let
Okay, let's see. The state laws include restrictions uh, restrictions against removing accounts based on viewpoints. Let me read that again. The state laws include restrictions against removing accounts based on viewpoints. Requirements that those sites have detailed explanations for their decisions and an appeals process when people are blocked. The laws have some differences which came up during oral arguments, such as how the Florida law includes up to $100,000 in damages for violations, but the Texas law does not. Texas Solicitor General Aaron L. Nielsen told the justice that social media companies control so much uh, debate that there will be no public. Okay, let's see if I can finish that. Roberts also noted that the states have effectively, effectively asked the courts to take a very big step when it comes to government regulation of the Internet. Henry C. Whitaker, Florida Solicitor General, argued the state had a First Amendment interest in promoting the free exchange of ideas online. Whitaker argued telephone companies do not get to discriminate against their customers based on what they say, and neither should social media companies. Okay, let's see if we got any more. It was 8 and 9, and it's so kind of passing that day, said to Heavenly Father Yahweh Paul, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. That wisdom, not as understanding, is going to disappear. Okay, that's when our Lord and Savior Yahweh Paul Simeon Yahweh is going to come and take down this place. Okay, so you must be ready. Okay, you must get this word. All right. Back to the scriptures, the holy scriptures. Okay. Psalms 19, 1 through 7. And these are your internet scriptures, you know, scriptures. To the chief musician of Psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High Yahweh, and the firmament showed his handiwork. Day and today utter speech, and night and tonight showed knowledge. There's no speech nor language, but their voice is not heard. Okay. Their line is going out through all the earth. And their words to the end of the world. And them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as the bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. Okay, so, you know, when this word going out through the internet, because the internet was created, okay, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, so you can get this information, especially in these last days. Because what it says in Daniel 12 and 4, not as has increased. The internet was created to, to, Give out this wisdom, not to understanding of the Holy Scriptures, warning you. And this helping waking up the elect, okay? Their line is going out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world, okay? And what's that scripture? You're going to get that right quick. Matthew 24, 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Okay, then with that, we're going to go back to uh, how, knowledge in, how knowledge has increased. Okay, that's how you know we're at the end. Because knowledge has increased, okay? Daniel 12 and 4. Okay, knowledge has increased exponentially. Okay, but thou, O Daniel, set up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased, okay? And that's that's how you know we at the end, because knowledge has been increased. Hence the internet, okay? Their line is going out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. And them hath he set a time, and I go for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoices as a straw man to run a race. His going forth from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing here from the heat thereof. That's the satellites, okay? You got them satellites that as as, as as a relay, okay? This sends the signals to a receiver on Earth, okay? And it bounces off the signals and they hit into the a receiver and what you hear and see in these visuals and the, hearing the words of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, Baha'i Shem, Yahweh Shai, 
through the Holy Prophets, starting first and foremost, the apostles and others are great millstone. Okay, they've done a the heavy work, you know, uh, uh, by giving you this information, by studying and going into the books, into the libraries before internet was available. Okay, they done all the work. All this information is now, instead of hard copy, it's in a form of digital. It's been, it's, it has been digitalized, okay, and which is on the internet and all the information, especially the Blue Letter Bible, which was started first by El Apostle Tahar, a great millstone. Now, everyone is using this. This is the times that we are here. Information is freely flowing. Get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding why you care, Jake. Get it. Because the days is coming. Esau is getting ready to show his horns, okay? He's getting ready to show his horns, okay? His going forth is from the end of the heavens, and his circling to the ends of it. And there's nothing here from the heat thereof. The law of the Most High Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Most High Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. Also, his covering has come off, okay? His coming has come out. Who's coming? He saw Edom, okay? I just had an interruption, phone call. Now, back to this to this lesson. The famine of the world is coming, okay? Okay, let me get back to uh, the Internet Scriptures, which is in Psalms uh, uh, 19, okay? So Psalm 19 and... Side to one, verse one again, to the chief musician of Psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High Yahweh, and the firmament, firmament showed his handiwork. Day unto day utter his speech, and night unto night showed knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. That's the internet, okay? Their line is going out through all the earth, okay? And their words to the end of the world. And them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoice at a strong man, to run a race. Okay, so when Jake, when you hear this, you know, it, it's, you know, hopefully, like, if you are the other, hopefully, like, when you hear this, you know, you're going to run. You're going to run to this word. You're going to learn it, okay? And then you're going to teach it, okay? It's going forth from the end of the heaven and it's circuit to the ends of it. And there's nothing here from the heat thereof. The law of the Most High Yahweh, perhaps from Yahweh's side, is perfect. Converting the soul, the testimony of the heavenly father Yahweh by some Yahweh's side is sure, making wise to simple, okay? Making wise to simple. So the wisdom of this world is, is foolish as compared to the wisdom and not understanding of these holy scriptures, okay? Also, his covering came off. Who's covering? Esau, Edom. Everyone uh, knows, okay, just about knows who he is, okay? Because it's been revealed by the Lord's servants, the prophets, okay? And, and, and through the internet. And they hate it. Second Thessalonians 2, 3 through 4. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be come a falling away first, and that man of sin is, is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed and insulted himself by all that is called the most high, okay? All or that is worship. So that he as the most high, Yahweh said it in the temple of the most high, showing himself to be that and showing himself to that he is the most high. So like it. So all the, all the major kingdoms, okay, starting first with Bab Babylonia, uh, Medo-Persia, Greece, and Rome, we are in the continuation of the Western Roman Empire, Rome 2.0. It's the only captivity in which we didn't remember who we were, you know, who we are. And the two names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, okay? You know, Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. We didn't know him, okay? We didn't know who we were because they had taken out of us, okay? Even right now, you saw Edom is still trying to push his wicked narrative. That he is the people over there in the land now. He is set up by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh so to be destroyed. Second Thessalonians 2, 6 and 7. And now you know what withholding that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Okay? Second Thessalonians 2 through 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the heavenly father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The spirit of his mouth are the prophets, okay? Because of what? Amos 3, 6 and 8. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the heavenly father Yahweh have not done it? 
Surely the, the heavenly father, Yahweh power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret to his servants, the prophets. The lion have roared, who will not fear? The heavenly father, Yahweh power have spoken, who can but prophesy? Okay, because he, you know, he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. And that's the job of a servant, the pro of his servant, to prophesy. Okay, you have to be in the spirit of prophecy. Okay, now with that being read and said, through the spirit of power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, through the Holy Scriptures, this word is going out through the Internet, okay, and on the highway, some Bibles proclaiming the truth of the Holy Scriptures. And this devil Esau is angry. He knows he's it's over for him. You know, this is why you need to get this word while you can, because his horns, his horns are about to come out. This is Rome 2.0, and this devil Esau is not going to just hand over his kingdom. He's going to fight for it tooth and nail because it was already written in the spiritual realm. Revelation 12, 9 through 12. And the great dragon, which is Esau, was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a voice, I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power, and the power of his Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Okay? As a sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh shall, okay, we, you know, and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, okay? For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And he knows this, okay? Their tongues falling on each other, each other, they telling on each other because of this word, okay? The spirit of prophecy, okay? The family of the word is at the threshold, okay? Jacob's trouble is on its way, okay? Matthew 24, 21 to 22. For there shall be great tribulation, such as not since the beginning of the word to this time, nor no, nor ever shall be. And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You feel it. Those days are being shortened, okay? As Elder Apostle coined the year 2024 as the world, as the, uh, Prophecy of Jacob's trouble coming to pass, and it's going to come. A feminine word and all of these things, okay? Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It's even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, that he is the elect. Amos 8, 11 through 12. Behold, the days come, said the Holy Father Yahweh Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but a hearing the words of the Holy Father Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Holy Father Yahweh by some Yahweh side, and shall not find it. Okay, that's why Isaiah, Isaiah thirty three and six should come into play. Okay, and you, but you better fear the Heavenly Father Yahweh by some Yahweh side to get this wisdom. Not to understand this word is about to be made desolate by those thermonuclear missiles. Esau is about to come down, show his horns. It's about to be hell upon earth, extra hell upon earth. Okay, Isaiah thirty three and six, and wisdom and I shall be. The stability of thy time. Read it again. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is his treasure. So you better fear the Heavenly Father because that's going to be your treasure. Because when you fear the Heavenly Father and give reverence to his name and the Son's name, if thou canst tell, that's another lesson from another day. You're going to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding if you come in the contrite spirit and in, uh, 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 in heart, okay, and repent, you okay? can come back to the ways of the heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. So our custom, okay, our way, our, you know, our, our way of living, you know, stand upon the Holy Scriptures and upon our Lord and Savior Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh, because so, you're gonna need Him in the days to come, okay. And with that, the water to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh, so, which allowed me to bring this out. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukat Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great Muslim who were well. And with that, Shalom.